Hello friends, welcome to Nigra Tech Case. This is our ReactJS tutorial. So today we are going to talk about this form handling. So here I listed out all the steps. We can go one by one. The first, I am going to create one form using this Bootstrap design. And the second thing is, I am going to implement these validations. So once it's done, I am going to get the form data on this form submit event. And finally, I am having some data. So I am going to bind the data into this form. So it is just like our edit scenario. Okay. Now let me go to the application. Here first thing is I am going to create one component. So the component name is add employee. So here stateless function component SFC. Okay, our component is ready. And the next thing is we have to install this bootstrap. So already I have installed the bootstrap in my application and then I have imported the file also. You can see this index.js file. So top of that I have imported. Now let me create my form design. So the first control is ID. So let me save it. So the similar way I am going to include three more controls. Next one is name. And the third one is the designation or else we can give us your role that also fine so finally I am going to provide the button and button type also submit And in this button, I'm going to provide some class. So let me save it. And now I'm going to our employee listing page. So this is the existing output. Here I'm going to include one more button. So this button name is edit. So the function name is function edit. So let me copy this one. So instead of this uh, employee detail, I am going to provide edit employee. Okay. Now make sure we have to create the route also. So we have defined all of our route in this app.js file. Here. So this is our route both and also I am having one parameter is id. So we can follow the same routine. So then we have to change this component name also. Add employee. Now let me save it. So if I'm clicking this edit, so it is redirecting over add employee page. So here you can have to see this controls ID, name, and role. So this is somewhat fine. Anyway, I'm going to implement some changes.
after this row I'm going to include one more class should be like this okay so this is somewhat fine now let me implement the validations so what I'm going to do let me make this ID as the disability field and this name and role I'm going to make these all the required fields okay And also we need to provide this error message so let me create one span tag so let me copy this one also so using this class I'm going to make this a uh, text color as a red color So here text is please enter name the similar way please enter the role okay the design should be like this so now what I'm going to do get the values from this form so based on the values we have to apply the logics for our validation okay for getting the data I am going to create one summit event handle submit so this is my event name now let me define it let me save it we can verify whether it's triggered or not okay it's saying please fill out the fields okay because we have included this required attribute okay if you clearly noticed actually I entered the value and submitted the values came but at the same time the screen got refreshed so what we supposed to do we have to include one small function here prevent default it is handling this post back now let me save it see now so our summit event is triggered okay so the next thing is we have to define all the states and then we have to include it in our controls so after that we can get the values so let me define all the states one by one so the first one is id and the function name is id change and so you state the initial value should be 0 the similar way we have to define two more 
states the second one is name and the function should be a name change and the final one is role the same way function is role change and the default value should be empty and here also it should be empty and then we have to bind the values here ID and the second one is name and the final one is role so initially we don't have any value the first control only we have provided zero so that value is already assigned here provided value property on the form field without on change okay so let me include this on change also so here let me include this on change event so the so here we have to call this name change okay and the input is so e dot target dot value so let me copy this one I'm going to include in our role change so instead of this name change here I'm going to use this role change now what I'm going to do in our form submit event let me create one object M object so here I'm going to include all the state variables the name and the final one is role now let me put this one into our console okay so without providing any value if I'm submitting so it will show the message like this now I'm going to provide the name John and this role should be admin now I'm clicking the submit see now I'm getting this object the ID is 0 because so it's a create scenario the ID should be generated automatically and then this name and role we are able to get okay so now let me change this value John Peter if I'm clicking once again I'm able to get this exact value okay so the second thing is I need to change this message so if I'm entering some values should this message should be removed if I'm not providing the value it should show okay that's all about my concept so for doing this one let me include some small changes here first let me copy this one and let me make this is the conditional template so here so name dot length double equal to zero so in this situation only I am going to show this error message let's see I am going to refresh this one so initially I don't have the value it's showing now I am going to enter some value okay it's changed it now if I am trying to remove it's coming the same way I can apply for over a role also okay great let me save it okay So see now uh, this is our current form and we are able to see the both error messages now I am entering some value test and this should be admin okay and let me go to the console also we need to get the messages now I am clicking this enter 
okay this is working fine let me move on the topics so we have created the basic uh, form design using this bootstrap that is completed and we have applied this validation and uh, we get the data from this form on the post submit okay so the final one is loading this existing data that i am planning to cover on my next video and already we have this existing form data so using this data we can complete our post request we are going to call this uh, APA and we are going to post this object okay so these are all the things we can see in my next video thank you thanks for watching still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you